And let's get back to how to choose a network marketing company. I've, like I said, um, I mentioned in the beginning, a lot of people contact me and ask me advice about the specific group of, of um, I don't want to say network marketing, but I believe it's a, a pyramid scheme. But um, they asked me some advice and my simple advice was, and something you guys always taught me was, if you want to make sure the difference between a network marketing company and a pyramid is there must be a, a, a proper um, product behind a network marketing company. There must be something that you can resell and that can actually deliver commission from there. Um, it can't, there must be a product part of that. So, but I think that's why, that's why you are here. So if you can give me proper insight about how to choose between and how to identify a network marketing company and the pyramid scheme. Okay. Um, okay. That's a great question. And, you know, um, I've obviously been doing this for 12 years. So I've been doing this for quite some time. In fact, the first time when I joined the company I'm involved with now, and I've only ever been with one company. So, um, but when I joined the company, um, I remember when I went to a rugby practice, all my friends said to me, oh, it's a, it's a scam. You can lose your money. Like, you know, um, and I was like quite a, a shocked, you know, I was sort of quite taken aback because I, and first of all, I never, ever heard of a pyramid scheme. I, I was, I might've heard the term, but I, I had no idea how it all worked. Um, so for me, it was, you know, I had to sort of educate myself on, you know, what, you know, how am I going to explain to my friends and to my family or whatever, how this works, why is this different? So I think for me, you know, just to, um, to start off with, I think, you know, um, the most important thing is, is it really comes down to your, the product that you have. And of course, there are companies that have got services as well. Um, in fact, in South Africa, we've got some, we've got an um, organization called the Direct Selling Association. And they, in fact, only 28 companies are actually a member of this uh, organization. They really regulate the industry. They make sure that you are doing doing everything ethically, that your compensation plan is fair, that, they, that they're really protecting that the, the consumer and just the general public to make sure that people that we, people that are going to get involved, at least they're getting involved with something that's legitimate. Because I think for me, there's nothing worse than when you do get involved in a company and it gets shut down or you told friends and family to invest in something and, you know, it ends up being a scam. Thank you for watching. Just a quick reminder to grab your gift bag for entrepreneurs in the link below. It's a gift bag for entrepreneurs to the value of 57,000 rand, free of charge. All you need to do is activate it. Part of that gift bag for entrepreneurs is a voucher of three months for three months free accounting services from a company, Drake Holdings. All you need to do is activate the gift bag voucher in the link below and we will be in contact with you as soon as you've done that. Thank you for watching and back to the interview. Whatever, and I think for me, that's not something I wish on anyone. And the reason why I share that is because I think for me in the beginning, that's sort of what I was so nervous about, you know, I don't want to get involved and tell my, you know, my, you know, my parents' friends and tell my friends to get involved in this and it, it, it's not something that's legitimate. So. For me, um, so basically, I think, first of all, obviously, I think it's always going to be a good thing to join a company that is part of the Direct Selling Association. And the reason for that is because if you're going to build something, you know, there's no point. Sorry, if you're going to build something, one of the reasons why people get involved with network marketing is because of residual income. So if you're joining a company that is, um, you might make a lot of money for a year or even two, if that company gets shut down after year three or four because they weren't legitimate, then what's the point of all the work you've done over the last two or three years and all the, 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 the relationships that you've sort of burned because you got involved in something, not always because you purposely try to do that. I think very often what happens is that people don't know any better. They are sold this um, grandeur, this dream, this lifestyle where you're going to get involved, you don't have to do much and you're going to make all this money. It can be very, very appealing to people because they... You know, it's almost like they're thinking, this is now my one chance. I've been praying about this. I've been, you know, I, what is 4,000 Rand? What is 5,000 Rand really in the greatest scheme of things? Maybe it's, but what they don't realize is that they're really fueling the growth of those schemes without even knowing it. So for me, I think it's very, very important that, you know, if you are going to join a company, is to make sure, number one, I think for me, it's it's it's, it's got to be about the product. You It's got to be a product that you really, that you would use, that even if you weren't involved, even if it wasn't done through a network, uh, a network marketing company, would you still buy that product? I think that's, that to me is the first thing. So I think for me, more important than anything else is you've got to love the product you're representing and you've got to become a, a, you know, a product of the product. But then I think the second thing is 
And this is something that's actually quite important because in 1979, the FTC, uh, which is obviously in the US, uh, filed a, a lawsuit against a company, and I'm not going to mention names, it's not, the, it's not really important. But basically, this company had to go and defend themselves and prove that they are a legitimate company, that it's not a pyramid scheme, that they are actual end consumers and customers. And that was the first time that I actually want to say that, that network marketing became a legitimate type of way of doing a business where people didn't, you know, sort of think, sort of blanket coat everything and say, oh, well, it's, 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 oh, it's like, it's also like that, but it's a glorified whatever pyramid scheme or whatever that may be. So, so for me, one of the rulings that they established back then was something called the 70% ruling, where if they, like if the FTC comes in um, and looks at your company, it's to make sure that at least 70% of the people that are part of that company are actual end consumers of the product. If everyone's involved to make money, then that's, that's illegal because then there's no new people putting money in to make money, then there's, it's, it's going to collapse. So for me, what's really important to share about that is, is that and specifically for me, why I've liked the product company is because it's something tangible, it's something I can feel, it's something I can buy. Um, you know, specifically with our company, um, our customers pay wholesale for the product and it doesn't cost them any money to sign up. And so do our associates. Everyone pays the same. So, um, but specifically, is that 70% of the people or more have to actually use the product as an end consumer. So, which means that there's not actually any new people that have to join the scheme to for it to be sustainable. So for instance, was to give you an idea, in my organization, we have probably between a thousand and two thousand people joining every month. So I don't need any new people to join because I've got um I've I've got tens of thousands of people. I don't need any new people to join. So but the key thing there is because is, is, we're working on a product that's consumable that runs out every single month, which means that people buy that product on a monthly basis. And I've had customers for the last 12 years that have never made an income from this opportunity. They are just using it because they love the product. And I think for me that's something really that people have to look at and they have to um, really go and study is, is, to, is to, to look at the income disclosure of the company or look at the company and say, okay, well, how many people are involved in this actually because I love the product? Um, so for me, that's something that's really, really, really important. Um, something else that I've also seen happen very, very often previously is where companies would front load people. So they get people to buy a large amount of product up front to be able to earn commissions. Um, they might disguise it as clever things and call it a founder's package. If you get this package, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. You've got to get this package because if you don't get this package, then because remember, we as human beings, are, we've got this fear of missing out. Um, I, in fact, I think the companies you're referring to, um, and I'm obviously reading between the lines, but they've got something in their compensation plan called the fear of missing out bonus, which is did you got to recruit at least four people to buy that pack within the first two weeks, otherwise you can't earn this commission. So what ends up happening is people are so scared they're going to lose out on the commission. So they end up talking to as many people as they can about this opportunity uh, or what's deemed to be an opportunity. And, um, and so, 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 so it, this, this thing really just gets life of its own. And um, so I think for me, I'm always very careful. I mean, or some company might be launching a new coin and they say, well, this is the, you know, if you don't get this, it's, it's, it's like you've got until the 1st of June to get this coin. If you don't get it, you've missed out on an opportunity. It's going to be, you know, your life is going to be completely destroyed if you don't do this. Um, you know, I think those are the things because people plan people's emotions and because, I mean, as you would know, we as individuals are very, very, um, are very unpredictable, but as a whole, we as a group are very predictable. So that, you know that if you're speaking to a large amount of people, you're going to find people that are vulnerable and people that are looking for something to do. And I think especially in the times we are right now, you've got so many people getting involved in, in, in schemes because, I mean, remember this, is that we are the network marketing industry is an amazing, amazing, amazing industry to be part of. And I think, you know, um, the popularity of it is really obviously has allowed dishonest individuals to get involved and start these companies. And, and the problem with it is that very often um, the, the people that are sharing this with people, they don't know any better. Like, so they don't know the difference. They're just hoping to, to make it because they're looking to, to help their family. They're looking to make, do something where they can make a contribution, where they can, you know, so they don't see the bigger scheme of everything. But I mean, to be honest with you, and I mean, I know I'm maybe answering the question a little bit too much in detail, but the thing about it is, is that I've been part of this for 12 years. Um, in fact, next month, I would have been part of this industry for 12 years. And I, if I can, if I got a thousand, thousand dollars for every time someone came to me um, with a, a new thing that they thought, oh, this is going to be the next big thing, whether it's disguised as a charity or whether it's like, you know, it's disguised as a, you know, um, uh, you know, as Bitcoin or as um, as a fiat currency, it makes no difference. I mean, 
but the thing about it is, is just just be so careful because I think you know most of these companies on Iran because in our industry just to give you an idea there's, there's hundreds of companies that start every year in our industry I mean there's loads of companies that start there's, and there's probably only like five percent of those companies that make it through the first year of business and I probably you know would want to say to all of you that of those companies that make it through the first year probably only five percent of them make it to year five and then probably it's it, it's really this it, it, it's almost like jumping through hoops. The, the, it, there's a big hoop and then it's become, which is quite easy to do. It, it's very easy to start a network marketing company. Then there's the next then there's the next hoop and that's when you get to five years and it's the next hoop. So for me, I've particularly enjoyed being part of a company that's a legacy company, which is a company that's been in business for very, very long because I want to make sure that if I am no longer here to build the business anymore or if I decide to do, do something else completely um, more traditional, then I want to know I'm going to get my income for the next, five, 10, 20 years, because that's residual income. It's not residual income if you have to sign people up all the time. And if you walk away from opportunity, your income stops, or if that company gets shut down. And I've seen some incredible, um, I mean, yes, but I saw a company that was, I mean, this company is such an amazing product. They had great, great products. Um, they got shut, shut down by the FTC because, you know, even though they had a great product, the majority of the people involved were just recruiting people to recruit, to recruit, to recruit. So who was actually the end consumer? Even though they had a great product, they had products that were, double blind studies and then it was a great company. I mean, I'm still got a lot of friends in that company. So uh, they were part of that company at least. And it's just that you've got to be so careful, you know, because it, 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 you, the, 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 the motto of the story is that you need people to actually use the product irrespective of it's done through a network. So that's, that's really as it boils down to. And at least to make sure that 70, more than 70% of the people are actual customers of the product. So very good points. I, I want to add just two points from my perspective as well uh, and something I've also shared with a number of people regarding this. And and first thing, uh, if you actually touch on that is make sure you involve the, the product or business or a service that you're actually proud of and that will serve your reputation good. Because I think to, to really just get involved in the business and to resell and, and to make a quick buck, but you know your reputation might get knocked while doing this business. I think so be very careful about your reputation while doing this. And you don't want to sell a product to family members and, and, and friends. And then in two weeks time and a month's time, the, the, the company gets bank, goes bankrupt or whatever the case may be. So that, I think that's the first thing. And another thing that I really live for these days are, are my ikigai, the, the reason for waking up for, for me, the reason for waking up in the morning that's bigger than myself. And I think um, you can resonate with that as well. You don't just do the business for money. Um, I mean, obviously, it's a big portion of that as well, because I mean, we all love money and we all need to, to, to earn a good living. But that's not your main purpose. Your biggest purpose is to uplift on other entrepreneurs to you've you've got a whole um, mission as um, M five M what 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 was it called? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, mission five million. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, you have foundation from that as well. So I mean, it's there's there's a bigger cause than just running a business. It's it's really just there's there's a bigger the bigger reason for you for waking up than just running a network marketing business. As far as I've yeah, I mean, from, from, I mean, but if I have to be then honest with you, I mean, on that, I mean, I definitely, uh, without a doubt, I mean, I um, and maybe a lot of the people on the call here today can relate to that. But for me, definitely, when I started, was I started in this industry because I wanted to earn an extra five thousand rand a month as a university mm -hmm. student. So I never, obviously, uh, realized at that stage this would become a career. Um, but I guess for me, the one thing I've also realized is that you know, we as human beings, we are we're always going to want more. You're never going to feel like you've arrived because I well, remember when I, I said to myself, like, well, if I get to this sort of income, then I'm going to do this. Or if I get to this income, then then if I can only get to this income, then it's like, I'm going to have no more issues. Or if I'm only going to have... And what, what I've what sort of realized is that, you know, it's almost like chasing a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. It's like, you're never going to... You're never actually going to arrive. And I think that's sort of the the way that life works is you're never supposed to feel like you've arrived anyway because we constantly need to be growing and evolving. So um, for me, I think, you know, um, I think probably in the last two or three years when, I, when my income got to a significant sort of level, I, it's, it's, I think for me, what gives me a lot more joy, at least, because I mean, and for me, I always, you know, there's an old saying called what makes your heart sing. 
I think it gives me a lot more joy, or at least like where I can get a, a tear, like an emo, a, a, from an emotional point of view, much more when I have a new leader that uh, gets to a new rank and it changes their life compared to or in their family's life or that income makes such a difference to them, a lot more than what it does to my, to add that increase on top of what my income is already. So I think for me, I think a lot of people get, get to a level where, and I, and, I, and, I, and I will encourage everyone to work towards something where you can get to a stage where you can feel it's not really about the money anymore. It's really about something where you feel you're making a positive difference in the world. You're leaving people better than what you find them. And, you know, even if it's just one person, I mean, that's still worthwhile. I mean, you know, I, I'm obviously in a health and wellness company. So, I mean, you know, 96% of people that lie awake at night are worrying about two things, their health and their finances. So I thought for me, well, that's a pretty good place to be in because if I can help people with their health, which is really your first wealth, um, I mean, that's, I mean, that's such an important part. I mean, you only need to sort of have a compromised um, um, immune system or a challenge, health challenge or whatever to realize how important and how much you value it. So, um, so for me, um, that, that's obviously for me the first thing, because I mean, I see this all the time and just even from an investment point of view, it's easy for people to invest money, but they don't want to invest money into their, into their, into their mindset and, and money into their, into what they, into the eating habits or money into the supplements that they take or, you know, so for me, it's, it's important to that you have to be holistic and everything. There's not just one thing that you've got to do. It's the same thing as me saying, oh, well, just take my product. You don't have to do anything else. You can, you can do whatever you want. And just, this is a silver bullet and, you know, do whatever you want. It, it doesn't work. It's, it's really just a piece of the puzzle from a supplementation point of view. I mean, you've got to look at other, other things as well. And I think for me, probably the biggest thing is really stress and stress without a doubt is, which obviously compromises your, your, uh, your health immensely, but that comes from, from finances. You know, if people are under financial uh, pressure and under financial stress, I mean, it was amazing. I was talking to my, my private banker the other day and she was saying to me, it's, it's so scary during this time, how many people she thought was actually pretty well off that, I mean, just like one month and like they can't cope after one month of having no income. And for years and years and years, I'd always be saying this in presentations that most people, you know, um, are, are three months three months away from being bankrupt. And it seems that I'm maybe it's very mistaken. It seems like most people are, are, are 30 days away from being bankrupt. So for me, um, one of the things that I've always been sort of tend to work on is this thing called, you know, your freedom fund or your retirement fund. And that's really for me is, is how much money is, to give an example, so if you can decrease your uh, or increase your income, remember it's much um, it's much more um, people are much more affected or motivated by having by having the income decrease than not the op to increase the income. If I can put it, that's people will work a lot harder not to to lose twenty thousand a month than what they'll work to earn an extra twenty thousand a month as an example. But um, so so people are much more are much more driven by that. So I think for me, to me it's really important. This is just not just in our industry, if just if you're on the call here, yeah, is to, you know, one of my mentors said to me, he said, like, if you can get your income down by, you know, 20%, so you're living on 8% of your income, it's like every four, four to five months, you're buying yourself one month of freedom, you know? So, so for me, if you've been doing this for the last 10 years or, you know, uh, 12 years, been putting a little bit away every month, it's that you don't have an issue if your income stops because you've built up, you know, 20 or 36 or 50 months of freedom that you don't need to work for the next 50 months because you've got an income you've been putting away over the last um over the last 10 years and i, I think a lot of people realize it's too late like you realize it in your you know you know too, it, it's, it's too late basically and you can see this with people that, that are retiring i mean I, I see this constantly like people haven't provided for the retirement because you you're hoping that everything's going to be is going to be fine one day or someone will the government's going to look after you or your kids are going to buy but most people don't realize that if you have to save like 10 million rand in an investment to, to get like 40,000 rand a month in, in your retirement after obviously off the tax so so how many people can save 10 million rand so if you've only got 10 years left to work how are you going to save 10 million rand and then it comes back to what we're talking about today is that then people you know get excited or get involved in something where people say oh no just put in 10,000 rand because you'll have in the next five years you know, you'll have 10 million rand and people go and put their money into that. And the problem is, is, is that people don't just put 10,000 or 20,000. They get so excited about this thing that they think, oh my word, I could become a billionaire from this, <laughs> you know, and they then go and put in a hundred or 500 or a million rand. 
I mean, I literally, I, I spoke to someone a few um, a few weeks ago um, who in um, one of these, um, one of these companies, older lady who had put in a million rand into this buying, buying, investing it. What she calls an invest, investment i think it's an expense <laughs> i think it's an investment but you know time will tell you know but uh but i, I but 99 percent of the time with these things I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be right so thank you for watching just a quick reminder to grab your gift back for entrepreneurs in the link below it's a gift back for entrepreneurs to the value of 57,000 grand free of charge all you need to do is activate it part of that gift back for entrepreneurs is a voucher of three months for three months free accounting services from a company drake holdings all you need to do is activate the gift back voucher in the link below and we will be in contact with you as soon as you've done that